सारी टिकट्स वगैरह लेके आप तैयार बैठे हो बट एट द सेम टाइम यू डू नॉट नो और हैव नो क्लू व्हाट टू पैक वाइल यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑन अ स्टूडेंट वीजा Well there were many things that I was not aware when I was packing for my Australian visa I wish there was somebody who could help me with that information so bahut sari embarrassment main aapki bachane wala hu when it comes to the packing for your luggage by now flight ke rules hum dekh liye honge kitne bags aap le ja sakte ho kitne bag aap nahi le ja sakte ho so basically i'm not going to get into the basic information wo main puri tarah sure hu ki aap khud bhi ja ke search kar loge jo galtiyan maine ki i'm hoping that you would not do those mistakes don't take me otherwise packing aapko hi karni hai i'm just going to guide there will be some bonus tips during the video so do watch the video until end and put on your comments as well if i miss something first thing first while you're packing for australia make sure you only pack the clothes according to the weather out there and of course don't make your luggage super heavy ke airlines bhi le jaane se mana kar de सो इन थम रूल बेसिकली जो विंटर होता है वो मार्च के इंटेक्स में विंटर के क्लोथ्स लेके आना एंड इफ यू हैव एन इंटेक्स समवेयर इन नवंबर ट्राई टू बाय समर क्लोथ्स एन ऑप्शनल थिंग right after you come to australia your best friend would be kmart and big w for sure this is going to be the cheapest and best place for students and of course you if you are a big fan of ethnic wear do not forget to bring your ethnic wear to australia first of all you would not get the latest style as you get in india and at the same time they will be super expensive hamara indian zaika spices Trust me you do not want to bring any of the Indian spices over here in Australia. First of all, not to mention they are illegal to bring them over here. You will be able to see them very reasonably priced in Indian grocery stores. So no matter which part of Australia you would be staying, majority of the state would have at least one Indian grocery store near to you. So just take full advantage of it. And majority of things that I uh, really encourage people to bring over here in Australia when they come for the first time on their student visa are the utensils. Because steel is really expensive in Australia, so at the same time, any steel products, any utensils, kitchen, household items, except electronics, you are going to find little expensive here than in India. Especially ethnic cooking wear, for example, Indian tawa, Indian cooker, and all that stuff is going to be really expensive over here. So if you're a person who like to cook your own stuff, bring these things with you and save yourself some saving for sure. Last but not least, bed sheets and blankets. If you do not bring your sheets and decide to buy them outside, they would be expensive. At the same time, they would not be as good as what we buy back in our countries. At the same time, the blankets bought back in India would be like really good ones. If you have space left in your luggage to bring the blanket in. Go ahead and do it. It's a good idea. But at the same time, if you can't bring it, it's not going to be the end of the world as well. If you have a good working laptop that you can bring to Australia, don't forget to do it. Because this is something you're going to need it for your assessments for sure. So make sure you bring your laptops, your working gadgets, anything that you could think of. जो भी चीज़ें तुम्हें लगती हैं, you can actually use for your studies in Australia. Do not forget to bring it with you. And at the end of the video, uh, of course, I'm going to list all the things which are, of course, against the law for sure. So I've listed all of them over here, and I've listed them in the description as well. And of course, while you're, you know, traveling to Australia, you'll be given a card that is called the declaration form. Make sure you fill that declaration form, even if you have brought some illegal items. Really upset when people don't declare them. Well, that's a short and simple list which came in my mind while I was making the video, and I wish. I knew or somebody told me these while I was packing for Australia would have helped me a lot and like i mentioned in the beginning of this video if i forgot something and if you have add onto those pointers you are more than welcome to comment below so other people are aware about that as well so you know helping other people